Hello, Spokane Public Schools families, staff, community, and students. We know that the topic of boundaries is a really controversial one, so we really wanted to take the time to unpack that a little further. What you may or may not know is that this conversation dates back to over five and a half years ago. We wanted to come up with a solution to alleviate overcrowding at our elementary school levels. So what we decided to do was build three brand new middle schools, but that would require us to reimagine what school boundaries in Spokane Public Schools looks like. So over the course of the last year and a half, the Spokane Public Schools Boundary Committee, made up of over 50 community members, really took their time and dove deep into understanding what it means to reimagine boundaries in Spokane forever. They created guidelines that included diversity and school quality. So what we're going to do as the Board of Directors of Spokane Public Schools is we're going to carefully review the recommendations of the Boundary Committee and carefully look over the feedback that we've been receiving from the community and making sure to utilize an equity lens as we do so. Major systems, school districts, cities, counties, and state governments have historically drawn boundary lines around socioeconomics and political party lines. And at every turn, students of color and families of poverty have bared the brunt and the weight of those decisions. That's why a year ago, Spokane Public Schools passed an equity resolution to truly live our vision statement of excellence for everyone. And we made a commitment to making decisions, including boundary changes, through an equity lens. Free and reduced lunch rates, similar to the color of one's skin, should not be and is not a determinant of a quality school. Let's take Rogers, for example. I was just there today, and Rogers sports one of the highest poverty rates in the entire state of Washington and is Spokane Public School's most diverse high school. And yet they're about to graduate over 90% of their students during a pandemic. They are proving in real time what it looks like to fund schools equitably and make sure every one of our students is receiving the supports that they need in order to be successful. This is a historic moment. For the first time in 40 years, we'll be redrawing district boundaries, and that is a decision that the Board of Directors does not take lightly. We know that this decision can impact our community for the next 40 years. This is also the most diverse board in Spokane Public Schools history, and that makes this historic as well. Because historically, decisions like this have been made for people like us instead of by people like us. We want future students to know and take pride in knowing that their neighborhood school is a high quality school, regardless of their socioeconomic status. So here's what equity means to Spokane Public Schools. We are attempting to eliminate barriers of access and create equitable access to programs. We're reducing class sizes across our district so that students receive more attention and resources. We're also trying to eliminate the stress of transitions, which has the greatest impact on students that are furthest away from opportunities. The Board of Directors has made a commitment to transparency and we plan to continue to do so. So we encourage each and every one of you to look at the data. For more information, please go to the website at the bottom of your screen.